Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss another approach to implement low level security in Snowflake Labels. So, okay. so already in our previous video, I have discussed one approach that is using secured view and Snowflake roles. Okay. So I will request you to go through that particular video first if you have not went through that because those concepts will surely help you to understand this particular concept in better way okay because that is basically kind of a simpler technique and this is little bit complex than the secured view approach that's why prerequisite knowledge of that particular concept will surely help to understand this concept okay but still I will try to go very slow and here we are going to apply the concept of coordinated subquery that is exist clause which I already covered in my earlier video that link also you can check from the description section if you want to go through that okay so here i am executing some queries all these queries i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section so that you can simultaneously practice with the video okay so first what i am doing i am dropping a database if it exists then here i am creating a database here what i am doing i am creating a table okay which contains some dummy data about employees employee id you can consider this as a primary key although in snowflake there is no concept of primary key but for the time being just consider this is unique and non-null and then here employee joining date from which department the employee is belonging and then salary and the manager id okay a typical employee table information we are storing in the employee table okay and then here what we are doing we are inserting some data in it okay some some employees are from hr department some are from technical some are from marketing like that employees are there okay so if i do that way here seven rows got inserted okay now here what we are doing here we are basically doing select star on this particular employee table whatever we have created and that way we are able to see the data okay now suppose the business requirement is you have to create three different roles okay one is for all the employees who are belonging to HR department, they will be having a dedicated role. For all the employees from technical department, they will be having a dedicated role. And for all the employees from marketing department, they will be having a dedicated role. Okay. And using that particular role, when they will try to query this particular table, then the data should be reflecting to their accounts as row level secure data. Okay. That is HR department employees should only be able to see the HR related data. They should not see the technical department's data or marketing department's data. Okay. Similarly, if technical department's employees querying this particular table based on the role, whatever we are going to create for technical department, then only this particular row and this particular row, these two rows should be coming as result set to their account. Okay. They should not be seeing any other department's information and same goes for marketing department okay so this kind of requirement if we are getting that means it is nothing but concept related to low level security right now let's try to understand how we can implement that okay same concept we are going to do like we did in our earlier video we are going to create three different roles we are going to create users but instead of secured view we are going to apply another concept okay so here see what i am doing here I am creating a table. Okay, access management lookup is the table name. So here, what we are doing, we are creating two columns. One is role, that is the role name and the department name. Okay. So here, what I am saying that which role should be able to see which department's data that I am basically inserting in this particular table, and this will kind of acting like lookup table for our low level security implementation. Okay. So if you see first, let me create this particular table and then here I'm inserting the data, right? What I am doing, HR admin, if it is the role, then only HR department's data it should be displaying. If the role is tech admin, if tech admin related role users are querying, then only technical department's data it should be showing them, okay? And if the marketing admin related roles are querying the table then only marketing department's information it should be shown to them okay and point to be noted here whatever case i am using that basically i have taken from here okay because this particular table we are going to apply in filter condition so make sure you are doing the proper casing how the data is available in your original table on which you are trying to implement role level security okay see here h and r both capital so in the lookup table also i am giving like that way in technical here t capital rest of small so i am giving like that way so that 
whenever technical admin will query the particular uh, table that is the employee table then it will come to this particular lookup and it will filter based on this tech department and the technical admin role i hope it is very simple so here in the role name i am giving all caps okay because generally if you see any role here you see all are in caps right so that's why for easy of comparison i am giving all caps and like that way only i am going to create the roles okay that is not a problem so here table successfully created and we are inserting the data in it now if i basically do select start from this access management lookup what we will be getting we will be getting three rows okay so what this is indicating that if role is hr admin then only hr department's information it should be showing if role is tech admin then only technical department's data should be showing and if it is marketing admin then it will filter based on marketing department and it will be showing now how to apply this filtering that's the next question right so for that earlier we use secured view now we will use access policy low access policy okay try to understand this particular query very simple yet very important and this is our central part in this complete low level security in this approach okay so what we are doing create or replace low access policy and then here we are giving policy name you can give any policy name okay so here what i am giving policy name that is department level access because on department level we are basically applying the filter condition right so that's why i have given such name if you want you can put some other name also not at all a problem okay so here what you are doing as department vacant so here you need to pass basically that particular column on which you want to apply the policy so here we want to do filtering on the department column right see the column name is department so here i am passing that particular column department fact here okay so it will indicate that on department column i want to apply low level policy although here you can put department or any other name also when actually you will be attaching this particular policy with that particular column of the table then you need to pass the exact column name okay but anyway for simplicity purpose i am giving department only so department fair care okay so here we are basically in simple words we are passing here that particular column name on which this particular low access policy will be implemented okay and what it will do it will return boolean result that is true or false type okay each row whenever we will query this particular table on which we are going to apply row level policy on that particular column it will apply this condition this body part whatever we are writing okay and then if the outcome is true then it will show that particular row in the result set else if the outcome is false then it will not show okay so how i have written the body if current role is account admin okay if account admin is querying the particular table then all rows should be displayed okay so always if account admin is querying this particular table then this particular condition will be satisfied and for all rows it will be basically returning true result right so for account admin all the rows will be displayed okay or if current admin is not executing that query if some other persons are executing then what we will do we will take help of this particular table and based on that we will be applying filtering okay see here exists okay so recall our exist concept i have discussed already in our previous video right that is exist will return true or false type information okay if the inner condition is satisfied it will return true else it will return false okay so what we are doing select one from access management lookup so our access management lookup is nothing but this particular table in which we have mapped the role with the department name for filtering right select one from access management lookup where role equal to current role okay this role is coming from which column this is coming from access management lookup table okay so what we are saying the current role whoever is querying based on what role that role will be coming here okay and that we are comparing with this role column okay if that condition is satisfied and also the department name equal to dept so the department name from the access management lookup table if it is matching with the department value whatever we are passing here that is if both the conditions are satisfied that means if this condition as well as this condition both the column conditions are satisfied then it will return true for that particular row and that row result it will be showing in the output if it is not satisfying any of the condition it will return false and then the exist will return false the boolean will return false and this particular access policy will not allow that particular row in the output 
that's the simple concept okay so here you should be having a clear idea in the exist clause which i discussed already and here select one i have written as i have told you that anything we can write as long as you are returning something from exist that is fine exist clause not at all bother that what you are returning because we are not going to implement any sum max mean count etc on this query all we are implementing just to check whether it is returning something or not. If it is returning something, that means it is true case. If it is not returning something, that means it is false case. Okay. And that's what we require here. Okay. Right. And here the application of exist is justifiable also. Right. Because when we use exist, we use exist just to check whether one particular row is there in the subquery or not. Right. And here we are doing the same. We are just checking in this particular lookup table that kind of mapping is present or not. If it is present, then we are returning. Okay. Very simple. Here I am creating that. Now what I am doing, I am applying this particular access policy department level access on the table what we created. Okay. So alter table ramu.public.employees add row access policy. Okay. So what we are doing, we are adding the row access policy, this one, whatever we have created and then on which column we want to apply this particular row access policy on department column, right? In the employees table, in the department column, I want to apply. So I will just run that. Okay. And now if I do select start from employees, what I should get? I should get complete result because currently I'm in account admin. So I will just do select start and here I'll be getting complete data. Okay. Now what I will do, I will create different roles and users and we will query from those roles users data and we'll see whether role level access policy is working or not. Okay. So here I'm creating role, right? So here I'm creating HR role, take admin role and marketing admin role. Okay whatever we have inserted based on that only I am using okay here it is not compulsory that you have to write in caps only because anyway by default when snowflake will execute based on any role it will be making all caps so current role select current role if you are doing what we are doing actually here it will always return in all caps format so it is not that much mattering that whether we are writing all caps or all small here okay so what we are doing now we are granting the compute warehouse access on the three roles we are granting the access on the database on these three roles. We are granting the schema access. Okay. And the table select access on these roles. Okay. That is so that they can access these employee tables. Okay. Then what we are going to do? We are going to create our first user. Suppose Jadu HR is the first user and he is belonging from HR admin department. So we are creating the user and we are assigning HR admin role to that Jadu user. Okay. So I will just run this one and see here it is successfully created. Now what I will do, I will open the Snowflake account for Jadu user from Microsoft Edge. Okay. And we will query the same table and we will see whether Jadu HR only getting the HR related information or not. Okay. He should not be getting any technical or marketing related information. Okay. That's what let's test it out. Okay. So what I will do, I will take this particular name as user ID and the password value, I will be taking this one. Okay. And then here what I will do, I will say, right. I will take the table name. Let's start from employees. And here I will be basically going to a new worksheet. Okay. And then click on this. I'll paste this one. Make sure you use that particular role in which Jadu HR is assigned to this HR admin and I'll be selecting Compute WH. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And I will select this one and I will run this. Okay. Let's see. See, here I am getting only HR directed information. Why? Because when I am executing this query, what is the current role? See, I have told you, right, there is by default role will be always in all caps. So HR admin. So it is going in the back end. And in this access policy, it is taking whether in access management lookup, role equal to current role or not. So when I'm querying from Jadu HR, here it is coming as HR admin because current role for Jadu HR is HR admin, right? So first condition is satisfied. And then while iterating on the department column, only for those rows, this particular second condition will be satisfied who are belonging to HR, okay? So that way, Jadu HR is only getting HR related information. Even if I am doing select count star, see the beauty of this row access policy. If I am doing count star, here I am getting three. But although actually in our table, how many records are there? If I do select star from this particular table from account admin, it is having seven records. 
but the other eater is only able to see three networks, right? That's the beauty of our this kind of low level security. And now what I will do, I will show you for another user. I will just to sign out. And what I will do now, I will be creating another user as Nemo Marketing. And now I will be assigning marketing role to Nemo Marketing user. And then here what I will do, I will just log in to this particular one. And I will be giving the password also. And I will do sign. Okay. And then what I will do, I will execute the same query using the Nemo Marketing user. Okay. So here currently we are selecting public, so I have to change the role. And then if we run this one, see here new marketing is only getting marketing related information, right? No other records he is getting, neither HR related nor our technical department, right? Why this is happening? Because when new marketing is querying this particular table, then here the role is marketing admin, right? So it is going in the back end in the access policy. Current role is account admin. No, this condition is not satisfied when you are querying from marketing admin role, right? So only in the exist block it will be coming and it will be checking in the access management group whether role equal to current role. So in current role it will be sitting as marketing admin, right? Whether role equal to marketing admin, this condition is satisfied or not. And that will be obviously satisfied because currently we are executing from the marketing admin role. So it will be satisfied and department name equal to DEPT or not. So department name in this particular table if you see here department name for marketing admin is marketing right. So what it is doing this particular department name value that is marketing value is matching with what rows in the department column. What column we are passing right and for those rows only which are belonging from marketing department the exist query will return some record and that way you will be basically getting the output only for those rows. Okay, so in simple words, you can use this particular code as generalized code. All you have to do first, you have to create this lookup table that is for which role, which department, or what you want to display. Okay, and make sure you are having a very careful attention in the casing in the second column because first column will be always in all caps because that's how the roles we are seeing that all caps. But for other one, you should be putting same casing how it is present in your data. Okay, once you create that, then you just apply this kind of query. And this query also you can take as common template. Maybe instead of account admin, if you want to put for some other role access like that, uh, suppose you want that security admin should also be able to see all records, then instead of account admin, put security admin. And else, in all those cases, this clause will be satisfied. And based on that, it will be filtering and returning the results. That's the simple concept. Okay. I hope you understood this. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed to now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all the videos. Thank you.